Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to further develop the game that I started in the previous tutorial. I'm going to add a score so when the ball goes through one of the holes uh, the score is displayed. I'm going to add a timer so that if the ball goes off the edge or you just take too long uh, the game is reset. This is the file from the end of the previous tutorial. I have given the logic bricks associated with the plane that, that makes the game board uh, more meaningful names so um, I've called this logic brick down because keyboard down arrow pressed um, when you press the down arrow you get a motion of rotating in the Z oh, X axis actually uh, and I'm going to call that pitch clockwise alters the pitch of the board clockwise and so we got more meaningful names for our logic bricks okay I want to add something that will detect the ball going through the holes so I'm going to add a mesh uh, cylinder I'm going to press G to grab and put that right in the middle of the hole for score 5 uh, G, Z, just drop it down a bit just below the board. Now, if I select the board and press R to rotate, the board rotates but the cylinder doesn't go with it. I want the cylinder to go with it, so how do we do that? If I select the cylinder, I can make um, the parent of the cylinder the plane but it's gone enormous. Why has it gone enormous? Because the child has inherited the scaling of the plane and that is scaled by a factor of 8. We don't want that, so I'm going to control Z. Uh, I'm going to select the plane and I'm going to go to Object, Apply, Scale and that will reset the scaling to 1. So now if I select the cylinder and make the plane the parent uh, it doesn't alter its scale or rotation and if I select the plane and rotate it the cylinder now follows the board control Z that how do we get the cylinder to detect the ball going through the hole with the cylinder selected let's go back to game logic now I need to add a sensor uh, there is a collision sensor and there's a near sensor. I don't actually want the ball to have a collision with the cylinder. In fact, I'm going to uh, set the cylinder's physics type to no collision. And I'm going to uh, click the invisible button so that the cylinder is invisible uh, when the game engine is run. I'm going to add a near sensor and... Uh, this will uh, fire a signal if any object comes within one blender unit of the cylinder. Uh, you can experiment with different distances. A distance a lot less than that I'm sure will work, but one works fine. Uh, that signal will go straight through an AND gate. And the actuator I'm going to choose. Now I could choose a property and add a property to the cylinder called score but I'm going to have other cylinders detecting the ball going through the other holes so I'm not going to do that I'm going to send a message to say that the ball has gone through the five hole so uh, the subject of the message will be hit five uh, if I don't set the object I'm sending the message to uh, it'll be broadcast to all objects. Um, I don't have to name the logic brick, but uh, I'll call this send hit 5. And we connect that up.
we need an object to receive that message. I don't want to use any of the objects already in the scene. So I'm going to add a new object, a dummy object, and an empty is the ideal for that. Uh, G to grab, I'll just move that out of the way. Now with that selected, I can add a property to it. And I'll add the property score. I'll set uh, the type to be integer, whole number, and its initial value to be zero. If you click this button, it will display uh, the score in the debug window. If you turn the debug window on, which you do by going into the game menu and checking it there. Um, now, uh, I am going to rename the empty object. This is going to have all the game properties, so I'm going to call it game. Now, I can add a sensor to detect the message and we want to uh, detect the message, hit 5, and go on, I'll name the logic brick, receive hit 5. Uh, when it receives that, we want it to go straight to an AND gate and now we'll use a property actuator and we'll add the value 5 to the property score uh, let's call that uh, score add 5 and connect that up now if you go to the render and start the game engine and if the ball goes through the five hole the score goes to five press escape to get out of the game engine okay so we've got the uh, five the score being displayed but uh, the ball then goes off to infinity and um, freezes the game until we press escape. So how do we overcome that problem? Well, if I select the cylinder again, uh, when the ball goes through the hole and the near uh, fires, um, not only do we want it to send a message, but we can get it to reset the game. So how do you do that? Well, we add another act actuator and this time it's for the whole scene and uh, by default it's set to restart and uh, if I name logic break so we know what it is when it's closed up that will restart the game so if we play that again and if I press the forward arrow to tilt forwards and when the ball goes through, our score gets to set to 5 and it restarts the game. We have a, a cylinder that will sense the ball going through the middle hole. Now we need cylinders to detect the ball going through the left hole and the right hole. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate the cylinder. To do that I'm going to go into default layout. Um, I'm going to give the cylinder a more meaningful name. I'm going to call it Cylinder 5. And in the top view, I'm going to press Shift and D and move that into the right hole. Back, well, well let's name that Cylinder 10 right. Back into Game Logic Layout. Now, fortunately, when you duplicate the cylinder, it duplicates the logic bricks. Do we need to make any adjustments? The near sensor is fine, the AND gate is fine, the scene restart is fine, but this message send hit 5 needs to be changed to send hit 10. The, the subject of the message needs to be 10, hit 10. And if we're going to give it a meaningful name, change that to send hit 10. And we need to 
look at what's receiving the message. At the moment, this uh, sensor is, is looking out for the message with a subject hit five. We need another message sensor to look out for the message hit ten. Um, receive spelt correctly. Receive hit ten. Um, we need an AND gate for the signal to go through and we need another property actuator and this will add 10 to the property score just copy that and paste it and just change that at the end to score add 10. Don't forget to link them up. I often find things don't work and it's simply because I've forgotten to link them up. Uh, and that should be detect the ball going to the right hole. What about the left hole? So back into default. Now all I have to do is just copy uh, Shift and D, duplicate this one and all the logic bricks will be exactly the same. I want the same message, send hit 10, or hit 10. Just name this cylinder 10 left. Back into game logic. And we can test. So click the start and pressing the forward arrow and the left arrow.